Hey everyone, this is Alex with Phoenix Physical Therapy for your workout tip of the week. Last video I discussed a couple simple stretches we can utilize to help decrease lower back stiffness and ultimately decrease our lower back pain. I'd like to follow that up with some exercises we can utilize to re-engage some of the abdominal muscles because those muscles are part of our core just as our lower back part of our core. So in order to decrease our back pain for the long term, we want to make sure the muscles around the back are strong and able to protect the spine from excessive strain. Now, these are gonna be what we call isometric, meaning the spine is not going to move a lot, so we can decrease the risk of hurting ourselves any further while still getting stronger. So those two exercises are isometric rotations and walkouts. Now it's best to have a resistance band. So there's a wide variety of thicknesses and widths that you can utilize. I want to, you know, I recommend starting with something a little bit lighter so you feel comfortable with it. And having something sturdy, you can wrap it around. So, you know, a banister, um, you know, maybe a support beam in your basement, something of that nature. You'd want to have that band anchored to something solid. And then you're going to step out till there's some decent tension. You don't want it to be, you know, painful or uncomfortable or really difficult to do. You want to have a good, uh, stable athletic stance, hands nice and tight to you, good tall posture, engage the core. So that's just drawing that belly button in and up towards your spine. And then you're going to press your arms out. Now, as you press your arms out, the band is going to want to twist you or rotate you. You're going to resist that. So that's the isometric, meaning it doesn't move. So the arms move, but the spine itself does not move during this motion. This is going to work on engaging your oblique muscles, which are part of your core and they blend into the lower back, offering stability and protection. So that is the isometric rotation. I typically have people start with just a pause. You can progress that to a three or a five second hold to engage as much muscle as possible. And again, I would recommend doing that facing both directions to engage the proper muscles around your, your abdomen. Doing that 10, 20 repetitions until you feel some fatigue is a great way to build up that strength around your abdomen. Now, moving on from the isometric rotation, we have step outs or walkouts. So it's very similar setup to what we just did. Good athletic stance. Now, instead of our hands tight to ourselves, we're gonna bring the hands out a little bit so that band offers some rotation force. And from here, engage the core, keep it nice and tall posture, small side steps out and then back. So again, your spine isn't really moving. That's the isometric part of this exercise. In fact, the arms aren't moving either. That's also isometric. Now your legs are moving. So it's gonna work on some hip strength as well as core and lower back stability. Having good, strong hips especially in the side to side plane is one of the most important things we can have for st uh, stability through our pelvis. And our pelvis is the foundation of our low spine. So if we want to protect our lower back, keep it safe, it's important to have a strong, stable core and strong and stable hips. If you guys ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and we can talk more about managing your lower back pain.